Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful challenge, beautiful day. This is just uh, just me making a game, you know, uncut, kind of just just making something I want to do, trying to make a, a twin stick shooter uh, with bosses and stuff like that. So so I'll see how it goes. You know, I just want to program, just want to make something, and uh, I'm just making an empty project right now, just like that boom what I want to do is I want to go in to my PC I want to go to where I <clears throat> excuse me where I downloaded <clears throat> SFML I want to copy I got the bin I want to copy the include in the lib folders and I want to go back to my my uh, where I made this thing where did I make it I made it somewhere. Here we go. I'm gonna paste them in here. Just like that. My solution directory. Just gonna paste them right there. I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna go to SFML. Just gonna paste this in here. Wait, cancel, 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 cancel. I'm gonna close out of that. Go back. I'm gonna. Whoop. Well, wait. What examples? Cut that. Paste it right there. Okay, so we're good. Now run this. This is just a way to set it up so, so that you can open it from anywhere, and you don't need to. You don't need to. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, download as FML again and stuff. Everything will follow with this whole game all right uh, so we'll just say main like that and I'm gonna go and actually go back to where I was with SFML uh, wait no where am I wait SFML E sorry about that SFML bin there you go. just copy all the DLLs go back to Wingman, which is just a name for my game, just a code name, and I'll paste all the DLLs in here. All right, just paste all of those there. Now I'm going to start linking the solution. All right, so I'm going to go to Project. I think it's it's here. The properties, uh, C++ General. Additional include directories. So now I'm going to go and find this include directory. Uh, my include directory is FML. Uh, actually, I'm just going to do include. All right. And actually, wait, 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 wait. Should we include SFML? And then OK. Let me see. Well, I should just do that, I think. And then, oh, whoops, I want to do this for all configurations. Let's do edit. Go ahead and go back to include. And then OK. Apply. Linker. General. Additional library directories. And just wingman lib. Boom. And then an input. You can't do all configurations. So I'm going to start off with active. Go in here. And I'm going to say SFML um, graphics.d uh, lib. I think that's how it was. And if you're not sure, what you could do is you could go into your old thing. I'm just going to go into my examples project. And I'm going to go ahead and do properties. I'm gonna do C++ include. All right, that was good. Linker was good, and then in the input section, I think I was right. I don't think I was wrong, but I'll still copy paste these. Just close this out. Let's see. Just paste all that. Boom. That's for the debug, and then the release. Yes, and the release is going to be the same thing. You just you remove these these. From the 
from the strings and that should be good then apply boom all right now we can include include sf include sfml graphics.hpp include sfml system dot hpp in include sfml audio dot hpp and then you can just keep on going doing whatever you want but what i'm going to do is include io stream stream whoops and then using namespace sf int main return zero and bam okay and then we're gonna make our while loop I'm gonna make a window render window window uh, and go ahead and do video mode let's see 800 600 and then oh wait style default and I think before that you got to give it the title so wingman game and boom you got yourself a window window dot set frame rate limit 60 all right and we're good so it was just set up while window is open then do all this stuff and then we need a while loop and we're gonna have an event e event event while event wait window dot poll event event it's gonna do a bunch of stuff and then a switch case event um, there we go dot well, let's see how, how did I do that I don't remember this actually I'm not sure about this I'm just gonna go and copy paste it from my other thingy so what do you do you do oh you don't do a switch case you just do this okay well that's cool I'm just gonna do this copy paste that because I'm a cheater like that you could do switch as well I've seen switch cases I've done switch cases actually uh, but yeah there you go and that is a a nice thing to do all right this is our game loop all right and here we're gonna draw and stuff like that but I'm not gonna do that here I'm gonna actually make a new class called game and game is gonna handle everything so public we're gonna have an update function and void update and we're gonna have a void draw function it's gonna draw everything include everything do everything we need to do and there we go I'm gonna have all my H files on this side and main okay so 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 what are we going to do we're not gonna need actually we won't need this in in main but we could have it in main actually because it's the main window uh, we could just send in window into game so we'll have a private section and we'll have a render win window pointer window uh, just like that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this put it in here boom you do this put it in here and just include game.h and then we have everything we need um, then see render window window bam we're gonna have our game.cpp I'm just going to do this um, 
let's see. Okay. So that's great. Let me just outline everything. Just like that. I'm going to do game. Like that. There we go. Now we have something outlined at least. We're going to have our functions. Accessors. And then setters. So accessor. We're going to have a render window. Window. Reference. Get window. Uh, and we're just going to say inline get window return this window it's going to be a reference so we're just going to do this dereference that and send window to to whatever we need to send it to all right so that's good we want to be able to change it so we don't have constant um, let's see so we draw everything, update everything. We're gonna make a class player. Kind of just making the outline of the game. Player. Virtual destructor. So our player dot h. And we have our there we go. Player dot cpp. Now we're going to need to include this stuff in there as well. Because we're gonna have to uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to include player.h and I'm just going to keep sending these to whoever needs them last kind of uh, so I'm just going to include player there mm, that's good so both player and enemy might have these things but uh, actually do I need all this in here well, whatever. We'll keep that there. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, player.h. We're going to have a private section. And we're going to have a shape. So our player is actually going to be a sprite. A sprite. So we'll call that shape. And then we'll have a circle. Oh, yeah. We need this as well. Because it's convenient and we're gonna have a circle shape as a hitbox or no we're gonna have a smaller rectangle as a hitbox so because we might rotate and it might not be hmm yeah we'll do that rectangle shape uh, hitbox Um, and we want to be able to draw it out. That's why I make a rectangle shape, not just a a, uh, a thingy. So we're gonna have a draw function, void draw, and a void update. Okay. Um, we want. I want some co-op stuff, like couch co-op stuff. So I'm gonna make sure that we can make different sets of controls for the player so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment a little with that later still we're just gonna put these in here and we're gonna have texture pointer as well texture pointer we're gonna have some other stuff like level and stuff like that in level just like that in the XP int exp next just making some stuff up uh, int hp int hp max just like that int score so we're gonna have score keeping up uh, for the players some levels some stuff like that basic stuff so we're good we're good and we might want to do int damage like that and damage max so we're gonna have a min to max kind of damage thing depending on what upgrades we have and update draw 
Alright, so we kind of made an outline here for player and stuff like that. We're good. Um, it feels good. We're just going to complete this. And I'm going to continue on this in the next video. So we have player and game ready. Kind of. I will be able to print stuff out and do stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, peace out.